All right, we're going to work on the Desiree finish really quick. We need a couple of things. We need our applicator brush and we need our distender tool. Now, I've pre-primed the board with the Desiree Fondo, which is the primer for Desiree. It's a textured primer. And I've let it dry. Obviously, I'm touching it. I pre-mixed the Desiree colorant by adding the color pack into the material and letting it sit overnight because the color disperses better when it sits overnight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the applicator brush, apply it to the Desiree to the wall. Pretty simple. Um, going to load the brush and brush it on cross hatch pattern, crisscrossing. If this is my corner, I'm going to work out of the corner like so, and then finish the field. Same with the base four, come across the base. You don't want to cut in because you can leave that line. If you happen to do it that way, make sure you break it up quickly. As you can see, it's kind of chunky. I'm getting 100, and that's the way it goes on. 100% coverage. Do not over brush the Desiree. If you over brush the Desiree, you will leave uh, your particles demolished with color and you won't have the color separation. So just kind of let it fall off of your brush, let it uh, like folding it on. I say it's like icing a cake. Put it on and come back in if you need to and make it a little pretty. It goes pretty quick. The biggest thing is do not overwork it and don't let the uh, Oh, material set too long to dry. If it sets too long, you won't be able to explode those particles using the distender tool. So we're just going to finish it out. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Once you get going, you'll get in a nice fluid motion and apply it nice and, nice and easy. Okay, so if I'm working on a bigger wall, I will use a larger brush. These come up to about six inches wide can't roll, well I'm not going to say you can't, but it, I have not been able to roll it successfully to duplicate the uh, desired finish and a brush. Okay, I've got about a two foot square area completed and I'm going to leave this set for a few minutes. Uh, depending on temperature and humidity, it can take anywhere from two minutes to 15 minutes to be ready to take the descender tool across it. And we've got the descender tool, it's just a little plastic uh, blade into a piece of wood. These have a little cup to them. One, they bow up, and two, they have a cup. So what the biggest thing to do is remember is I always say belly down, cup up. If you put the cup down, these two points are going to drag and leave little railroad tracks. Put your thick fingers on the top, bottom, thumb on the top, and you're going to pull it across and explode your particles out. And I always pull it in a couple different directions. If you get little drag marks like I just did, that means that spot's not ready. Give it a minute to set up. It's not the end of the world if you get a drag. Just come through it on a crisscross or a intersecting angle and continue across the whole board. You'll see that the tool breaks the white particles open, leaving you with the desired effect. Okay, pretty much finished. Just taking a couple little pieces over it. As the product dries, it shrinks. That doesn't mean that white particles explode. It just means that it shrinks. Um, so yeah, the product will shrink and flatten itself out. But you have to use the descender tool to explode the white particles. As it dries, the colors richen. It will def uh, probably change 5% in color. It'll go a little bit lighter, but the colors will be rich. You will see pockets of color everywhere. Okay, so. Real simple. Desiree Fondo rolled on with like a paint roller. You usually dilute the Desiree Fondo five, uh, about 5% five with water. Stir it up and put it on like paint. Just brush the corners, roll the field, let it dry, come back in about four or five hours, and you're going to apply the Desiree. The Desiree goes on. You add your colorant into it, preferably a day before. Let the color, Stir it by hand. Never use a drill. Never use a power mixer. Always fold the colorant by hand. That way you don't explode the particle colors. Remember, we can't get super deep, dark colors. We can only get soft pastel or mid-tones. Be careful when you stray from the color chart. If you go from the color chart, you're kind of taking the product into, uh, into your own hands at that point. It's hard to say what's going to happen. Brush the product on. Crisscross. Take the descender tool after five minutes. Flatten the product out, making sure you work in various directions. That way you don't see the method of application. Let it dry for about, uh, I'd say, let it go overnight, and then you can start hanging your shelves, your plants, or your pictures. Whatever you're going to hang on this wall, you can hang it on that wall at that time. 
and it will be washable when it's finished. If you're worried about a high traffic area, bathrooms or hallways, common areas, just roll a coat of clear polyurethane over it, preferably a flat, because uh, it you know, doesn't seem to do, it's not very attractive with the shine on it. It's more of a flat type finish. You can't figure out which polyurethane to use, go down to the local home improvement store, uh, big box store, and just get a can of flat polyurethane. Make sure it's water-based.